In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to set up a specific button on your Stream Deck to control the recording function of the Rodecaster Pro 2. Now, this is in reference to a video I made some time ago on this channel, all about how to control the various functions of the Rodecaster Pro 2 using your Stream Deck with the MIDI plugin. And the link is up here and in the description below. So for this simple workflow, I'm just going to set up a record button on the Stream Deck. I'm going to be using my icon pack that you can get, link in the description below as well. And this is just simply to show you how you can set the button up so the icon changes color and invokes the record function on the Rodecaster Pro 2. Let's get on with it. All right, so let's head over to our Stream Deck configuration real quick. We're just going to be looking at two actions today. We're going to be using the multi-action function. Now this is in the latest version of the Elgato Stream Deck software and the MIDI plugin that I spoke about before. And you may want to make sure that you update to the latest plugins, both the MIDI one and the Elgato Stream Deck to take advantage of this workflow. All right, so let's create this. I'm in my Stream Deck Mini. I've got no buttons assigned right now. So the first one is we'll need to create a multi-action. And the reason why we're doing this is the multi-action button is going to invoke the two states, the recording on and the recording off, and then you'll be able to change the icon. You can't really do this with a standard button. That's just the way the Rodecaster works, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is take something called the multi-action switch. I'm going to drag that into one of our buttons here. Now the multi-action switch allows you to do two states, state one and state two. And all we're going to do is use the same action to start and stop the recording and then change the icon down here to reflect the state of the recorded function. So let's do that real quick. Let's go open up MIDI and we're going to go to the control change workflow here and this is all in the PDF link in the description below as well. We don't need to give it a title. We're just going to drag it in there. So we're going to select the channel and the command. So we'll keep it on channel one and then the command for the recording function in the Rodecaster is number 17. We'll click on that as well. Now the button type we need to make it as hold. That's in the workflow as well. And then the value will just change this to one and zero. And that all that means is that we're going to be making sure that the Rodecaster receives the correct MIDI messages. Um, you don't really have to change this, but I just make sure it's set for that. And then for the MIDI ports, let's make sure that we have the Rodecaster Pro 2 selected as both out and in. Once we've got that done, we'll just hit this same one again, hit Control C to copy, and then we'll just paste the same action in here. So it's the same action. We haven't changed anything. All we're going to do now is make sure that we have the right icon. So for action number one, we will say that we need to start recording. So we'll pull in the green recording icon from my Stream Deck pack, and then we'll flip over to the next state, which is action number two. And then we'll have this as stop recording. So you can see multi-action two is showing me that the recording is active. Multi-action number one is start recording. So when we then use this with our stream deck, you'll see that the action will start and stop and the colors will change. I'm just going to do that now and show you and then we'll show you in real time on the actual Rodecaster itself. So I'm going to press the button now and I press that and it's changed state on the Stream Deck. And you can see that it's also changed the state on the Rodecaster. Get a few minutes and then we hit the button again. And you can see that now it has changed back to green. And it really is that simple. So that's all you need to do to have your record button looking really fancy on your Stream Deck and show you that the, the Rodecaster is actually in record mode. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you do like these videos, then there's more content here specifically around workflows for the Stream Deck and the Rodecaster Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.